quick and dirty time, we are tackling the vocab question. As always, the SATCrashCourse.com. That's where I'm getting these questions, and that's where you guys should go. Because A, I check all the questions, so I know that those are good. And B, you guys can 20% discount using my code. StudyJ, all caps. So let's look at this vocab question, which I haven't really been doing. Because at the end of the day, if you know the words, you can do the vocab. Then what kind of strategy can I offer you guys? Well, this is something that is not going to be present in every single question, but it can help, which is utilizing the fact that SAT is not only politically correct, but they make very safe statements, okay? Nothing that could potentially be taken as offensive to any group, okay? So that specifically applies to this. When I have art, okay? Whenever I have any type of mention of art, I am being positive, I am being appreciative, I am praising that art. And this probably sounds familiar if you guys have been watching my videos. So how does that apply to a vocab question? So let's look here. This is a shorter question because it's vocab. The use of iconic, iconic, I can't even pronounce that word. Iconography, yeah. By Byzantine art served to blank the sacred narratives and make them accessible to all. So, um, so what does that word mean, the iconography? Oh, that's how you say that word, right? So it doesn't matter, okay? So it's using symbols and stuff in um, terms of representation, but we don't need that. Why? I have the word art, okay? So it served to blank the sacred narratives to make them accessible to all. So of course you can just say, oh, make them accessible to all. That's pretty easy, so I know this is positive. But what I'm saying here is that even if they put in a, um, more advanced vocab, even in the second portion, which they very well could. If it's like the number seven question, they put in vocab words all over the place. So if I were to make this more difficult and instead um, make them accessible to all, I had something like um, had um, decreased their um, obscurity. Okay. You say, oh, obscurity is not that hard, but you know, whatever other method that would make the second part a little bit more difficult to comprehend. What, I might, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter because the use of whatever in the art served to something positive. Okay, something more positive. Okay, so from that, I can eliminate complicate. That's a negative verb, right? And refute, you may say, well, that's, not, that's definitely not a positive word. So those are out. And now then we will be between B and C. And so I'm assuming that we have a pretty average level vocab. So B and C here, enliven and tarnish would I guess be the harder words. So you might say, oh, I'm just gonna guess between the two. However, enliven, you guys can pretty easily see, has a root word of live, okay? Live, live, all of those words are positive words. So therefore the answer here is B, okay? So you guys might be, oh, I already knew the word tarnish and I would have, that's not the point here, okay? So my point here is this. The SAT has to say things that are completely safe, okay? So the specific example here was, oh, because they talk about R here, I know it has to be a positive word. So if I'm guessing, I go with a positive sounding word, okay? And it's not just limited to art. Art was really a good example to use here. But if I'm talking about an individual, for instance, a real life person, if I mention their name, same thing, we're gonna be positive towards that character, okay? So if I'm gonna say negative things, it's gonna be about non-humans, non-people, things that you can't get upset about, right? Things that can't ever get offensive. So the answer here is B, guys. Now, I said I'm not gonna do too much of the vocab questions because at the end of the day, for the majority, it is whether you know the words or not. However, if you guys have questions on, I really can't get the difference between these two words. There are certain words that I find to be confusing. If you guys give me a list, screenshot, whatever, and you want me to break them down, sure, I can do that for you guys, okay? So that's it for today's quick and dirty. Let me know in the comments, whatever you guys want to see covered. That's it for today. Study every day with sex, Jay. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.